boys and girls of the shaft, today we'll be taking a much closer look at the new pterodactyl of the land, the Caprosocus. Let's go right in! Now, this is the first dino introduced to the game that can carry players and other creatures in its mouth. That's why we call it the pterodactyl of the land. This feature alone probably makes the Caprosocus my new favorite dino. It's now easier than ever to ruin someone's day and transport prisoners back to your base. So the C key is just the standard sort of chomp and grab whatever's in front of you. And then once it's in your mouth, you can now left click to tear it apart with your jaws. The Capricuccus also has a right click lunge. This is a lot like the Mantis. If you thought the Mantis was pretty crazy, this is on a whole other level. Because with the right click lunge, this is both a really powerful attack but it also has the side effect of either knocking your enemy off their mount, even picking their mount up with the player still on the mount, or grabbing the player or the dino in your jaws for you to carry around, shred apart, and do whatever you please. Now this is kind of spotty. I've played around with this and sometimes you get the knockoff effect, sometimes you'll successfully grab the player off the mount, or just completely miss and fly way off into the stratosphere, way away from your target. And I think this has to do with your accuracy, I'm not sure exactly, but I think if you nail the player just right, you'll grab them off it. But if you miss, it'll either knock them off or have no effect. As it turns out, you can actually use the lunge underwater. So I was thinking, this might actually be a viable underwater battle tactic. You know, if you have your enemies on megalodons or mosasaurs or whatever, well, you could sneak up on them with your crocodile, lunge at them underwater and knock them off the mount and then kill them out. I mean, while they're underwater, they can't shoot guns at your crocodile or anything. So what are they going to do? Nothing. They're going to sit there and they're going to watch as you kill everything. Now, to tame this thing, it's actually pretty straightforward. Just start it like anything else and shove some Tapahara kibble in its inventory. By the way, yes, I am pronouncing Tapahara correctly. Look it up. If you don't have kibble, then just the standard prime meat will work too. Once you've got your new long-legged crocodile thing, you'll need a salad. The salad is actually pretty cheap. All you need is 165 hide, 120 fiber, and 65 chitin. You don't even need a smithy for this thing. Just craft the salad right in your inventory. There's a few other things you should know about the Capricuccus. First of all, its bite has a status effect. This drains the stamina of enemy players and dinos you bite. And it works pretty quick, too. This will make the Capricuccus excellent at disabling large dinos like Gigas, Brontas, whatever, provided you can get away without getting chomped, because this thing is pretty weak. As well as taking down those really annoying players who have their speed set to like 200%. As far as leveling goes, this thing is pretty much a glass cannon. Great attacks, but pretty wimpy HP. So you should focus your points in damage and speed. Now, there's no oxygen stat to boost, so something weird happens when you boost your speed to a certain point. The Caprosocus actually becomes faster on land than water, oddly enough. Kind of a shame, I wish you could boost the speed in water, but... You know, maybe that's a balance thing, because this thing would just completely dominate everything if it didn't have some weakness somewhere. Well, that was pretty quick actually. I thought this was going to be a longer video. But hey, if you're new here, why don't you look around on the channel? If you liked this video and you look around on the channel, I have no doubt in my mind you too will become a loyal citizen of the Shaft. So look around, subscribe, become one of us today. Also, let me run a few other things by you real quick. First of all, we run a couple of servers you can join right now. We run an RP server as well as a standard PvP server. Also, go ahead and click the bottom of that description and join our Discord. Come chat with us. We're cool people, right? And if you enjoy the content we make on this channel, consider checking out our Patreon. Pretty cool rewards, pretty cool perks. Pitch in a few bucks, help us make doper and doper content. Every dollar goes towards a better experience for you. Until next time.